It is Friday, and what does that mean? It means my favorite way, and hopefully your favorite way, to get to know your Atlas recruiter, the often imitated, never duplicated, Atlas Med Staff, Five Question Friday. With me this week, Amanda Henderson. Amanda, welcome. Hello, glad to be here. Okay, this uh, this is not question number one, but you are you're remote for Atlas. You're a remote recruiter for Atlas. Where are you located? So I am in Corpus Christi, Texas, down here at the very bottom of Texas. Gotcha. It's nice and warm. I, well, you know what? It's not snowing today, so I'm fine with that. <laughs> All right, you ready to get into this? Yeah, absolutely. Right. Question number one: Tell me who Amanda Henderson is. Well. Here we go. Um, I am, I'm a mama, I'm a wife, um, but I love to have fun. Um, I am lightly sarcastic, but I think that just, you know, brings some spice to the mix here. Uh, but, you know, I love spending time with my family. We are always on the go, always doing something. Um, we love to play basketball and go to the beach. So, you know, pretty much any minute of the day we are we're moving and gro grooving so it's a, it's a fun time over here in the henderson household i love it all right question number two the first thing on your bucket list on your atlas med staff bio bucket list is adopt tell me about yeah. that yes my husband and i we've always known that we wanted to adopt uh he grew up in a family where they just were constantly bringing people in whether through legal adoption or just they always had a bed you know someone needed a place to stay and so that's always been something on our hearts and we've got one little boy of our own but we are excited to be able to grow our family by adding you know some more kids to the mix whatever whatever that looks like someday but we definitely we want to adopt some some kiddos into our family awesome well i mean and everyone knows this we're we're a family that adopted too and it's 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 fantastic <laughs> so i love that i love that's on your list all right, question number three. Uh, looking at your Facebook page, I noticed one thing. Your faith is very important to you. Talk to mm -hmm. me about that. Yeah, it absolutely is. My, um, you know, my faith is something that I found when I was in college, and it has carried me through a lot of a lot of highs and a lot of lows uh, throughout the years. Um, but one thing that our family loves to do is we love to help. We, we love to help people. We love to, you know, whatever that looks like and for us, that looks like sharing our faith a lot of the time. Um, but again, that can look like things like adopting or, um, you know, sharing a meal with someone down the road. It can look like anything, but for us, our faith is something that just really keeps us going, um, you know, really involved in our church. My husband is actually a student pastor. And so we love, um, we love having that part of our lives and just being able to bring that to others too, whenever we can. Super cool. All right. Uh, question number four, let's make a left turn here. Question number four, what's your favorite movie and why? Ooh, okay. Mm, that's a hard one. So, I mean, honestly, most of what I watch right now is Disney because my two year old. Um, so, okay. I love the Marvel movies. Like my husband and I, we get really into the Marvel franchise. So any new Marvel movie that comes out, we're getting a babysitter and we're going to the midnight showing. Um, out of the Marvel ones, that is also, that's like choosing a favorite child. I love, I love the Marvel movies. Um, I would say, okay, probably Thor Ragnarok was one of my, one of my all time favorite ones, okay. but love, love the Marvel series. Fantastic. Well, you, I mean, you fit right in with us, right? We could talk about Marvel and comic <laughs> books for hours, so. Yeah. Anytime you want to come up to Omaha here and hang out with us and talk, that'd be, that'd be awesome. Yep. As long as it's not snowing. Yep. Yeah, it. exactly. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> uh, question number five, if you could go anywhere in the world, where would you go? Okay. I really want to go to Israel someday. Mm. I love history. Um, and you know, I, I love the history as well, you know, of the Christian faith, but I really want to go see Israel and I'm super jealous because my husband's gotten to go. So I, I want to, I want to go now. I don't, I'm competitive, so I don't want to lose. Um, <laughs> but I want to go see Israel and be able to, uh, you know, see all of the old historical sites there and 
um, just like that region of the world is so fascinating to me. I've gotten to go to a few a few countries over there, but not Israel yet. So that's a big one on my bucket list. That one's awesome. I mean, that's the first time Israel has come up through all of the uh, through all the years that I have done <laughs> these. That's the first time. So congratulations. That's and that sounds super cool. I bet I love history mm -hmm. too, and I bet the history there is just unbelievable. Mm -hmm, absolutely. I'm I'm ready. I'm I want to plan my trip as soon as I can. Do it. I think you should. Okay, uh, Amanda, give me a a year, a, a month, and year that you started with us here at Atlas. So I started here in January of 2022. Oh boy. So as of this recording, <laughs> what does that mean? That means she has time. So what we're gonna do is on my screen, you're right above me. So we're gonna put all your contact information right here. If this, if Amanda sounds like your kind of recruiter, here you go. This is how you get in touch with her. So Amanda, thank you so much. It was fun. And uh, awesome. enjoy, the, yeah. enjoy the nice weather down there in Texas. Oh yeah, I'm loving it down here. <laughs> All right, we'll see you next time.